Hello class. Good evening. Or rather good afternoon. Okay. So <clears throat> good afternoon, Nandini. So welcome to today's session. Uh, we are about to begin another topic in CSAT. I hope there are no technical issues. Yes. Okay. So uh, today's chapter is basically pipe and system. Okay. So if you have analyzed you know, uh, some question papers and all, pipe and system is one of the very commonly asked portion from quantitative aptitude. Okay, made the UPSC, whatever exam it is, UPSC, PSC, uh, SSC, whatever kind of examination, any competitive examination, even for your CAT and MAT, pipe and system is one of the topics. And this is a very core area. So, uh, but actually this is very simple also. Many people make mistake in this portion, mostly because they do not know how to solve the question. Okay, they will have an idea about what is happening, but they wouldn't know how to, you know, go to the next step. Clear. Yeah. So through this session, the intention is to make sure that you will be able to answer any questions that come from this topic. Questions are actually very simple. There is nothing too much in this section. Uh, a couple of things that you have to remember and then we can start solving questions. Okay. So again, today we will be solving 10 questions from this topic. And let's begin this session. So once again, welcome to Mathur Shankar classes. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so and share with your friends as well. Okay. So CSAT uh, pipes and system. So basically these are the things that you have to remember before we begin this session. First of all, if a pipe can fill a tank in X hours. Okay, so here we have a tank. All right, and here we have a pipe. So if the pipe can fill a tank completely in X hours, then part filled in one hour is one by X. Correct. If a pipe can fill a tank in X hours, then part filled in one hour will be one by X. Now, if a pipe can empty a full tank in Y hours, okay, instead of filling, you are empty, then part emptied in one hour is one by Y. Clear? Everything you do in this format, you will convert this first into something that, uh, you know, in unit time or something like that, and then do the question. That is why this is very important. Now, if a pipe can fill a tank in X hours and another pipe can empty the full tank in Y hours, such that Y greater than X, then on opening both pipes, the net part filled in one hour is one by X minus one by Y. So there is one pipe that is filling this tank and then there is another pipe here that is actually, you know, emptying this tank. So if both these pipes are opened simultaneously, in one hour, the net amount of water filled or emptied will be, you know, the uh, together will be 1 by x minus 1 by y. Very much logical, correct? Now, if a pipe can fill a tank in x hours and another pipe can empty the tank in y hours, where x is greater than y, what will happen when x is greater than y? Filling the pipe, filling the system is faster than emptying the system, correct? So at that time, water will start to pile up. So then opening both pipes, the net part emptied in one hour will be one by Y minus one by X. Okay, so here, sorry, this is the reverse. Okay, when X is greater than Y, what will happen? It will empty faster. Okay, uh, the time taken uh, by a pipe to fill the tank is more than the time taken to empty it. So obviously it will get emptied quicker. So in that case, you will do one by Y minus one by X. Don't worry if you did not understand this portions. Once we start doing questions, you will be able to identify and understand this better. Okay. So starting with the first question for the day, two pipes A and B can fill a tank in 36 hours and 45 hours respectively. If both these pipes are opened simultaneously, how much time will be taken to fill the tank? So basically you have a tank. 
okay and you have two pipes pipe number this is pipe a and this is pipe b both these pipes are actually filling the tank pipe a by itself alone takes 36 hours to fill this tank pipe b takes 45 hours to fill this tank okay alone so if together both of them operate together then how much time will it take to completely fill this tank that is the question all right so how would we do this very simple part okay boring color so i will use another one let's go with um, green okay let's try green okay part filled by a in one hour okay part filled by or oh, pipe a in one hour how much is this this is 1 by 36 correct a takes 36 hours to completely fill a tank so in one hour the part filled by a is 1 by 36 similarly part filled by b in one hour how much would this be 1 by 45 Correct. Part filled by A is 1 by 36 and part filled by B is, uh, part filled by B is 1 by 45. Okay. So, together they are working. Correct. So, part filled by A and B together in 1 hour is how much? 1 by 36 plus 1 by 45. Correct. So what is this? What is the LCM of 36 and 45? 36 and 45, 36 into 2 is 72. Uh, 45 does not go. So 72, 144, 180. Correct. So in 180, both of these will go. So 180 is the LCM. So 180 divided by 36 would be 5. And 180 divided by 45 is 4. So this is equal to 9 by 180. And this is e equal to 1 by 20. So part filled by A and B together in one hour is 1 by 20th of this tank. So how much time would it take to completely fill this tank? The reciprocal of this, that is 20 hours. So if A and B together works, then they will be able to completely fill this tank in 20 hours. So the answer is option A. Did you understand how to do this? Okay, moving on. If there are any doubts, please feel free to ask. Uh, there is no shame in asking even very rudimentary questions because in the end all that matters is you understand this and you will be able to solve it in the exam setup okay so that is all that matters so feel free to ask any doubts so another question i don't like this color going back to red two pipes can fill a tank in 10 hours and 12 hours respectively okay so again we have a tank there are two pipes okay here is one pipe and here is the second pipe so the first pipe is able to completely fill the tank in 10 hours second pipe is able to completely fill the tank in 12 hours while a third pipe empties the full tank in 20 hours so there is another pipe and this pipe can empty the tank completely in 20 hours Got it. So if all these three pipes are operated simultaneously, in how much time will the tank be filled? That is the question. Okay, if all of them are opened simultaneously, in how much time will it be filled? Okay, so how to proceed? This is a very, very, very simple question. All we have to do is to find out in one hour, when all these are operated together, what is the part of the tank that is filled? Find that out and then convert that into, you know, extrapolate that time. That's it. So, net part filled in one hour, okay, is equal to 1 by 10. Okay, the first pipe takes 10 hours. So, in one hour, it fills 1 by 10 plus second pipe takes 12 hours to completely fill the rank. So in one hour, it will fill 1 by 12, correct, minus 1 by 20. 
Why? Because this is not filling the tank, it is emptying the tank. So it is minus. And it takes 20 hours to completely empty this tank, which means in one hour, 1 by 20th is emptied. Correct? So the net part filled in one hour is adding these two together and subtracting this from it. Correct? So what is this? This is equal to, what is LCM? Uh, 60, correct? So 60, 6 plus 5 minus 3. This is equal to uh, 9 by 60 is equal to cancelling by 3. Uh, can we cancel by 3? Yeah, 2 by 3. No, no. Uh, sorry. I think I made a mistake. 11 minus 3, 8. Sorry. 8 by 60. So this is equal to, yeah, now it is 2 by 50. All right. So that means tank will be filled in. Fifteen by two that is equal to seven point five hours. Correct. So this is nothing. This question is basically you, you know uh, very very simple. All you have to do is to arrive into this situation. If you can convert this question into this statement, then it is just mathematics. Just do it. That's all. Okay. I mean, do not make calculation mistakes. That is very important. All right. But other than that, you will be able to solve this question by understanding these simple techniques. When you are filling a tank, keep the sign as positive. Okay, that is why I added 1 by 10 and 1 by 12. When you are emptying the tank, subtract that. So it is minus 1 by 20. That is the net part filled in one hour. So the tank will take how much time? The reverse of that, that is 15 by 2. Clear? Moving on. Yeah, Nandini, yeah, thank, thank you for that. I made a mistake there. Now, if two pipes function simultaneously, the reservoir will be filled in 12 hours. Okay, again, let's have a diagram. There are two pipes filling in at the same time. Okay, so together, if they work, the entire thing will be filled in 12 hours. One pipe fills the reservoir 10 hours faster than the other. Alright, so one pipe can fill this entire reservoir 10 hours faster than the other. What does that mean? It means if this one takes x hours to fill the entire tank, then this pipe will take x plus, no, uh, sorry, uh, x minus 10 hours to fill the entire tank. Why? Because it is 10 hours faster. Correct? Or we can take it as x plus 10 itself. If this is, if this takes x plus 10, then this takes only x. We can take it in either way. But the difference is 10 hours. Did you understand? If one take one pipe takes 10 x plus 10 hours, then this takes only x hours. So the, the difference between the uh, efficiency of these two pipes is 10 hours. You can take it as x plus 10 or x minus 10. Adjust it in the answer. That's all. Okay, so one pipe fills the reservoir. Yeah? 10 hours faster than the other. How many hours does it take the second pipe to fill the reservoir? That is the question. Alright, so let's do it. How to do? Let reservoir be filled by first pipe in x hours. Okay, therefore second pipe will fill it in x plus 10 hours. You can take it as x minus 10 also. It is up to you. But uh, in the answer, ac accordingly, no, uh, correct it. That's all. All right. So to get, when these two pipes works together, what happens? 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 10. Correct. This, is, this means these two pipes are working together for one hour. And the first statement says that if the two pipes function simultaneously, the reservoir will be filled in 12 hours. So 1 by x plus 1 by x plus 10 is equal to 1 by 12. Correct? So in uh, if for one hour, 
these two pipes are operated simultaneously, then it will fill one twelfth of the tank. So one by x plus one by x plus ten is equal to one by twelve. This implies uh, LCM is x into x plus ten. So x plus ten plus x divided by x into x plus ten. I hope you remember how to do LCM and dot. Okay, uh, is equal to one by twelve. This implies mm, twelve x plus one twenty. Sorry, I can write this as twenty four x. Correct. X plus x two x into twelve twenty four x. If there are any calculation mistakes, please let me know. Uh, into one twenty is equal to x squared plus ten x. Okay, so this implies x squared plus um, no minus one second. x squared minus fourteen uh, x minus one twenty is equal to c. Okay, just taking the LCM and putting it into a you know quadratic equation. That's all. Now we can solve for x. So how to solve for x by factorization method? The sum is minus fourteen and the product is minus one twenty. So what are the numbers? One number has to be positive and the other number has to be negative and the bigger number has to be Negative, so this is uh, plus twenty and minus six. Correct. So we can write this as x minus twenty into x plus six is equal to zero. Implies x is equal to twenty. We cannot write x is equal to minus six. Okay, because time cannot be minus six negative. So the value of x is twenty. So the question is asking how many how much hours or how many hours does it take for the second pipe to fill the reservoir? So here we wrote it as you know second pipe will take x plus ten hours. So x plus ten is equal to thirty hours. Correct. So had you taken x minus ten here, what will happen? The value of x will be how much thirty, and that would be the second pipe. So you you can uh, take the value of x as such. Because I took it as x plus ten here. I had to add that plus ten towards the end. Okay, so you can take it in either way, x minus ten or x plus ten. When you find out the final answer, just appropriately adjust it. That's all. All right. Moving on. A cistern has two taps, which fill it in. Sorry, which fill it in twelve minutes and fifteen minutes respectively. Okay, one of them fills it in twelve minutes, other one fills it in fifteen minutes. Let's again draw a diagram. So here is a cistern, and here you have two pipes. One of them will fill it in twelve minutes, and the other will fill it in fifteen minutes respectively. There is also a waste pipe in the cistern. Waste pipe means the pipe that em empties the cistern. Clear? So when all the three, so we do not know the specifics of that pipe, but that exists. When all the three are opened. The empty cistern is full in twenty minutes. So obviously, it means that the rate of filling is faster than rate of empty. Correct. Otherwise, it won't fill up. Fill up. How long will the waste pipe take to empty the cistern completely? That is the question. Okay. So again, it the perspective is same. It doesn't change at all. Work done by waste pipe. In one minute, okay. In the previous questions and all, we took one hour because everything was given in hours. Here the question is in minutes, so we are taking instead of one hour, we are taking one minute as the standard unit. That's it. Okay, it doesn't. It's not a uh, you know huge thing. Anything is fine. So work done by the waste pipe in one minute. What is this? This is equal to one by twenty minus one by twelve. Plus one by fifteen. Did you understand this? When all three are open, the empty cistern is full in twenty minutes. So the work of all three together is one by twenty. Okay, when all three are simultaneously oper operating, 
it the assistant fills in 20 minutes so the work done by all three together is 1 by 20 so from that if you subtract the work done by the first pipe and the second pipe then you will get the work done by the base pipe so that is 1 by 20 minus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15 okay so what is this this is equal to 1 by 20 minus what is 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15 what is lcm 60 so 60 divided by 12 is 5 plus 4 this is equal to 1 by 20 minus 9 by 60 again lcm is 60 so it is 3 minus 6 oh sorry it's 3 minus 9 correct uh yeah okay so this is equal to minus 6 by 60 is equal to minus 1 by 10. Here the symbol is negative. What does that mean? That means the pipe is empty. Okay, it's a waste pipe. So obviously it is taking out the water. So in every one hour, this pipe, sorry, one minute, this pipe will take out one tenth of the water. Clear? So cistern. Uh, will be empty in 10 minutes every one minute one by tenth of the water is taken out so what does that mean in 10 minutes the full water will will be taken out so the work done by the third pipe is one by ten every hour so it takes 10 hours to completely empty the system got the idea moving on so these are very simple questions, right? Nothing too much, uh, you know, deep or anything. Very simple, very, uh, you know, sensible questions. You can solve this yourself. Please try out some of these questions on your own. Uh, try to download some questions from online and do it yourself. An electric pump can fill a tank in three hours. Okay. So again, there is a tank and here is an electric pump. So this can fill up the tank in three hours. Because of a leak in the tank, it took three and a half hours to fill the tank. So there is a leak in the tank. Okay, so it took an additional half an hour to fill this tank. So the tank was filled only in three and a half hours. If the tank is full, how much will the leak, how much time will the leak take to empty it? If the tank is in full capacity at a point of time, then how much time does it take for this leak? in order to completely empty this tank that is a question okay so again same thing same thing same logic same method work done by leak in leak means here the waste pipe okay leak in one hour what is the work done 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3.5 correct think about it Without this leak, the tank is filled in 3 hours. Correct. So in 1 hour, 1 by 3rd of that is filled. But because of this leak, the tank is filled in 3.5 hours. So in 1 hour, the amount filled is 1 by 3.5. So if you subtract that from the first value, you will get the leak. Correct. So this is equal to 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3.5 can be written as 1 by 7 by 2. Okay, 3.5 can be written as 7 by 2. So, 1 by 7 by 2, that is 2 by 7. 1 by 3 minus 2 by 7 is equal to, what is LCM? 21. So, 7 minus uh, 6. This is equal to 1 by 21. So, the leak will be taking out 1 by 21 amount of water outside every 1 hour. Which means, the leak will empty the tank in Twenty one hours. See, pretty simple, correct? We have finished the answer in like two two sentences. No bigger big calculations or anything. Just understand what is going on. Put that into some sort of a mathematical form. Solve it. That's it. Again, we are going a bit fast. I know. If I if any of you want me to explain anything uh, better, please let me know. Anyway. Moving on to the sixth question of the day. 
two pipes can fill a cistern in 14 hours and 16 hours respectively. So again, we have a cistern and there are two pipes. One can fill this in 14 hours and the other one can fill this in 16 hours. The pipes are opened simultaneously and it is found that due to leakage at the bottom, it took 32 minutes more to fill the system. Okay, compared to the usual time, it took 32 minutes extra. When the cistern is full, in what time will the leak empty the tank? So basically, uh, it's the same as the previous question, except instead of giving the time directly, you are supposed to find the time to fill the tank and add 32 minutes to it. Okay, and then find how much time will the, will the leak take to completely empty the system. Clear. So more work. That's it. Method, procedure, everything similar. Same. So let's start. How to start? Work done by two pipes in one hour is equal to 1 by 14 plus 1 by 16. Correct. So this is equal to how much? 14 and 16. What is LCM? What is LCM for 14 and 16 guys? Ah, okay. 7 into 8, 56 into 2, 112. Okay. So 112 divided by 14 is uh, 8. Okay. 70 and then 4. So 5 plus 4, 9. And plus 112 divided by 16 would be 5 is 80 and then 32. So uh, 2. So 7. So this is equal to I uh, know, sorry, this is 8, okay. So, this is equal to 15 by 112. That is 8, correct? 112 divided by 14 is uh, plus 28 is 140. Yeah, correct. So, 8. So, 8 plus, 5, uh, 8 plus 7 divided by 112. This is equal to 15 by 112. Clear. So, work done by the two pipes in one hour is 15 by 112. So, time taken by these pipes to fill the tank is equal to the reverse of it 112 by 15 what is this 112 by 15 is let's do that 112 divided by 15 would be 6 is 90 so 7 is 105 remaining is 7 Okay, so it takes 7 hours and how many minutes, it, the remainder here is 7. Okay, so how to convert that into minutes into 60. Okay, just uh, do the, frac uh, convert that fraction into R. So it is 7 by 15 into 60. So it is 28 minutes. 7 hours. 28 minutes. Did you understand how I, how I converted hours into minutes? First of all, take the entire hours from it. So di by dividing 112 by 15, you got 7 as the quotient. Okay, the whole, the whole number quotient. Okay, so 7 is the number of hours. And the remainder here is also 7. So that, take that remainder. So remainder divided by divisor. So 7 by 15 into 60, multiply by 60 to convert minute into hour. Sorry, but to convert hour into minute. Okay, so 7 by 15 into 60. That is 7 into 4. That is 28. 28 minutes. So time taken by these pipes to fill this full tank is 7 hours and 28 minutes. But in the question, it says that due to the leakage in the bottom of the tank, it took 32 minutes more to fill the system. Okay, so what is the total time? Total time taken due to leakage is equal to 7 hours 28 minutes plus extra time 32 minutes. This is equal to 8 hours. So totally because of this leak it takes 8 hours to completely fill this tank. Now what, what do we have to find? When the cistern is full, in what time will the leak empty the tank? That is what we have to find. So, again, work done by 
uh, the two pipes and leak is equal to 1 by 8. Correct? Together, it uh, the tank is filled in 8 hours. So, the work done by all three together is 1 by 8. So, work done by leak is equal to how much work done by the two, you know, the total uh, work done minus done by the two pipes. So, 15 by 112 minus 1 by 8. Okay, work done by the two pipes in one hour is this. And subtract the final tank, that is 1 by 8. So, this is equal to how much? Well, again, LCM is 112 only. So, 112, 15 minus 112 divided by 8 is what? 14. This is equal to 100 and 1 by 112. So, the time taken is 112 hours. Option B. Did you understand that? How I did it? Okay, so the only difference of this question from the previous question is that instead of directly giving you the time, they basically asked you to find the time taken to completely fill the tank first and then add the leakage factor and find the time to completely empty the tank. So you had to find the entire thing manually. In the previous question, it was directly given. It takes three hours. And the leak, because of the leak, it takes three and a half hours. So some extra calculations, that's all. The procedure, method, everything remains the same. Two pipes A and B fill a tank in 36 minutes and 45 minutes respectively. Okay, so here is a tank. Okay, there are two pipes A and there is another pipe B. So this pipe takes 36 minutes to fill the tank. And this pipe takes 45 minutes to build, uh, fill the tank. A water pipe C can empty the tank in 30 minutes. So here is another pipe C and this can empty the tank in 30 minutes. First A and B are opened. After 7 minutes C is also opened. In how much time the tank is full? Again very same procedure except the only difference here is C is opened only after 7 minutes after opening A and B. Correct. So first of all, what do we have to do? We have to find out how much has been filled in seven minutes. And then how much is going to be filled when everything is open together. Got it. So that is how we are going to solve this question. So let's start. Part filled in seven minutes is equal to how much? Part filled in one hour, uh, sorry, one minute into seven. Correct. So, what is part filled in one minute? One by thirty-six plus one by forty-five. This one into seven is the part filled in seven minutes. Correct. No brainer. Okay. So, what is this? This is equal to what is LCM? One eighty. So, one eighty divided by thirty-six is what? Five. Correct. Plus four. That is nine. Okay, this into 7 is there. So, 7 into 9 by 180 is 1 by 20. So, that is equal to 7 by 20. Alright, so in the first 7 minutes, 7 by 20th of the cistern or the tank has been completely filled. Now, what is the remaining part? Remaining is equal to 1 minus 7 by 20 is equal to 13 by 20. Okay, 20 by 20 minus 7 by 20. That is 13 by 20. Now, after 7 minutes, everything is open together. Correct? So, net part filled in 1 minute is equal to, okay, by uh, A, B and C. All of them together. Okay, is equal to 1 by 36 plus 1 by 45 minus 1 by 30. I don't think I have to explain this. Okay, C is emptying and it takes 30 minutes for C to completely empty. Correct. So, work done in 1 minute is 1 by 30. So, we subtract 1 by 30 from the other two values. Correct. So, what is the value of this? This is equal to, again, uh, the LCM is 180 only. So, 180 divided by 36 is 5 plus 4 
plus 6. Oh, sorry, minus 6. Correct? Yeah. So, this is equal to 5 plus 4, 9 minus 6, 3 by 180. This is equal to 1 by 60. Okay? So, 1 by 60th part is filled in 1 minute. Therefore, what is the remaining part? 13 by 20. So, 13 by 20 part is filled in 60 into 13 by 20. This is equal to 39 minutes. Did you understand this? 1 by 60th is filled in 1 minute. So, 13 by 20 part is filled in how much time? Reciprocate this. So, 1 by 60 becomes 60. 60 into 13 by 20. That is 39 minutes. So, time taken to fill the whole tank is equal to 39 plus the 7 minutes at, at the initial area. So, 7 is equal to 46 minutes. So, the answer is option B. Got it? Again, a very simple, very direct question. Uh, yeah, I will be looking into your... Uh, comments, I mean, and uh, no doubts and all, oh, after every question. Okay, in between, I won't check it. After every question, I will do it. So, NCRT mathematics textbook, which classes text we have to learn? Nothing. You do not have to learn any textbooks on mathematics unless you are mathematics optional. Okay, if you are mathematics optional, then you have to learn accordingly. Uh, but other than, otherwise, no need. You don't have to look at any textbook uh, for these things. Quantitative aptitude is a separate thing. It's nothing related with NCRTs. You can do all this in your uh, by yourself. And uh, I per personally, I use a textbook known as RS Agarwal. I mean, I do not use this. Uh, I have never prepared for uh, CSAT ever in my life. But uh, and because I mean, I have engineering background and and I'm not I'm not that bad in mathematics, so I do not have to prepare for it. But if you want, you can prepare using this textbook RS Agarwal. Very good textbook. And that's all you need. No NCRTs. Next question. Two pipes A and B can fill a tank in 24 minutes and 32 minutes respectively. So two pipes are there. Pipe A which fills the tank in 24 minutes and pipe B which fills the bank, uh, sorry, fills the tank in 32 minutes. All right. If both the pipes are open simultaneously, after how much time B should be closed so that the tank is full in 18 minutes. So initially, both the pipes are opened simultaneously. Okay. But after some time, we are actually going to close B. But the entire tank is filled in 18 minutes. So how after how much time should B be closed? That is the question. Okay. So, you know, when you look at it like that, like when you look at the entire question together, you feel a bit confused. We will not know where to start. Correct. But this is actually a very simple question again. This is how we do it. Let B be closed after X minutes. We don't know. They both started operations together and let after X minutes, let B be closed. Okay. Then part filled by A and B together in X minutes, okay, in X minutes plus part filled by A in 18 minus X minutes is equal to 1. I will explain this. Don't worry if you did not understand. So, let B be closed after X minutes. Okay. So, up till X minutes, A and B will work together. Correct. So, part filled by A and B in X minutes. So, together they are working for X minutes. After that, B is closed. So, only A is going to work. So, A is working for how much time? 
the remaining time. So the total time is given in the question as 18 minutes. So what is the, what is the remaining time? 18 minus x. Correct. So A is alone going to work for 18 minus x minutes. So when we consider the whole thing, okay, x minutes and 18 minus x minutes, the entire tank is filled. So the total is 1. 1 means the full tank is filled. Got it? That is why what is represented in this statement. Now we have to simply substitute the values. So part filled by A and B in x minutes. What is it? What is A's time? 24. So it is 1 by 24 plus 1 by 32. This is the work done in 1 minute by A and B. But they are working for x minutes. So we have to multiply by x. Got it? Plus part filled by A alone in 18 minus x minutes. So A alone, what is the work of A alone? It is 1 by 24. Correct. But A is working for how much time? x. This is, this is for 1 minute. A is working for 18 minus x minutes. So we have to multiply by 18 minus x. This is equal to 1. That when this much work is done, the work is 100%. That is the complete work is done. That, that is why we are using 1 as RHS. Alright, so now simply solve the uh, value for x. This is equal to LCM would be what? 24, 48, uh, no, 72, no, 96, yes. Okay, so 96. 96 divided by 24 is 4, uh, 4 plus 3 into x plus 18 minus x by 24 is equal to 1. All right, implies 7x plus the total LCM is also 96 and 24 into 4 is 96. So we have to multiply this by 4. So 4 into 18 minus x is equal to 96. Got it? And implies uh, 7x and minus 4x, that is 3x. 3x is equal to 96 minus 18 into 4. 18 into 2 is 36, so into 2 is 72. So 72. Uh, sorry, 96 minus 72 is how much? 96 minus 72 is 24. Correct. Implies x is equal to 8. We got the value for x as 8. What is x? Let b be closed after x minutes. So after 8 minutes, b has to be closed. And that is our answer. If you close B after 8 minutes, then, then the entire tank will take about 18 minutes to completely fit. Did you understand how we did this? Initially, both are working together for X minutes and then B is closed. So A have to work alone for the remaining time and the remaining time is total time minus X minutes. That is 18 minus X. Okay, so that will give you 100%. I mean, the... Uh, tank is completely filled. So this is equal to 1. And then we simply substitute the values and solve the value for x. Okay, so the third question. Three pipes A, B and C can fill a tank in 6 hours. After working at it together for 2 hours, C is closed. Sorry. C is closed. And A and B can fill the remaining part in 7 hours. The number of hours taken by C alone to fill the tank. That is the question. So let's do this once more. There is three pipes. This is one, this is two, and this is three. All right. And this is pipe A, this is pipe B, and this is pipe C. So all of them together can fill the tank in six hours. After working at it together for two hours, C is closed. Which means after 2 hours, only A and B will be working. Correct? And A and B will fill the remaining tank in 7 hours. Okay. So the number of hours taken by C alone to fill the tank. That is what is uh, asked. Okay. So let's do this. How to solve this question? Again, a very simple method. Every, uh, the procedure remains the same once again. Part filled in 2 hours. Okay, all of them are working together. <coughs> Sorry, all of them are working together only for two hours, correct? After that, C is closed. So part filled in two hours. This is equal to 
how much? 2 by 2 into 1 by 6. Correct. All of them working together take 6 hours. So in 1 hour, the work done is 1 by 6. So for 2 hours, they work together. So 2 into 1 by 6. So this is equal to 1 by 3. Correct. So what is remaining? Remaining is equal to uh, 1 minus 1 by 3 is equal to 2 by 3. So 2 by 3 parts are yet to be filled. Okay. Now A plus B, they are filling the remaining part in 7 hours. Correct. So A plus B, 7 hours work is equal to 2 by 3. Correct. When A and B work for 7 hours, they come, you know, they fill the remaining. That is, they fill 2 by 3. Implies A plus B's 1 hour work is equal to how much? 2 by 3 into 7 is equal to 2 by 21. Correct. Just, you know, uh, getting this 7 into the denominator. That's all. In one hour, uh, uh, sorry, it, it takes seven hours to completely fill the remaining. That is two by three. So in one hour, how much is filled? Two by three into one by seven. That is one, uh, one, two by twenty-one. Now, C's one hour work is equal to how much? A plus B plus C's one hour work minus a plus B is one hour work. Correct. Correct. That will give you C is one hour work. So this is equal to A plus B plus C is one hour work is what? 1 by 6. Minus A plus B is one hour work is what? 2 by 21. So this is equal to how much? Okay. So again, uh, 6 and 21. What is the LCM? 6. 21, 3, 2, 7. 7 into 2, 14 into 3 is 28 and 42. So, 42 is the answer. 42 divided by 6 is 7 minus 4 is equal to 3 by 42 and this is equal to 13. Sorry, 14. Correct? 3 by 40? Yeah, yeah, 14 hours. And the answer is option C. Correct? Very much logical. Initially, all three are open for two hours. So, find out how much of the tank is filled in two hours by all these three. That is one by third. So, the remaining is two by three. So, A and B together fills the tank in seven hours. Correct. That is given in the question. So, their seven hours work is equal to two by three. So, what is their one hours work? Two by three by seven. That is two by twenty-one. So now subtract A plus B plus C's, uh, sorry, A plus B's work from A plus B plus C's work. And you will get uh, C's alone work. Correct? And the answer is 14 hours. Last question. Two pipes A and B can fill a tank in 6 hours and 4 hours respectively. Again, there are two pipes, pipe A and pipe B. It can fill the tank in 6 hours and 4 hours respectively. If they are opened on alternate hours, alternate hours, not together, not simultaneously. Okay. If they are uh, opened on alternate hours and if the pipe A is opened first. So A works for 1 hour, then B works for 1 hour, then A again works for 1 hour. That's how it goes. In how much, how many hours the tank will be put? That is the question. So we did a similar question yesterday. And what was the trick there? Rather than taking one hour individually, we paired it. Correct. We took, in yesterday's question, we took two days together while we were doing questions on work and time. Correct. So we do the same here. Instead of taking one hour as the base, we take two hours together. So A is, no, uh, one hour work is what? A is one hour work is equal to one by six. And B is one hour work is 1 by 4. Okay, that is given in the question. Now, A plus B is 2 hours work because they are working alternatively. Okay, so in the first hour, A's work is 1 by 6. In the second hour, A's work is 0. Okay, then again, in the third hour, A's work is 1 by 6. Fourth hour, 0. 
clear so in effect for in two hours a is doing the same job only as it does in one hour same goes for b that is why we are clubbing it together and writing it as a plus b is two hours work is equal to uh, how much is this lcm uh, 6 into 6 and 4 lcm is 12 so 12 divided by 6 2 12 plus 3 so 5 by 12 1 by 6 plus 1 by 4 okay is equal to 5 by 12 all right now a plus b is 4 hours work is equal to how much 2 hours work is 5 by 12 so 4 hours work is into 2 so that is 10 by 12 is equal to 5 by 6 why did i do this yesterday also i told you we have to find the largest fitting number underneath the 6 by 6 underneath the full capacity so here if we uh, go for you know 6 hours then what will happen then we have to multiply by 3 and the resulting value will be how much 15 by 12 that is greater than 1 but full capacity is 1 so we have to take some a value that is less than 1 and the closest to 1 that is why I, multi I, I took 4 hours so in 4 hours 5 by 60 is completed so what is remaining remaining is 1 minus 5 by 6 is equal to 1 by 6 so 1 by 6th of the tank has to be filled now correct so this is in 4 hours so first hour a worked second hour b worked third hour a worked fourth hour b worked so fifth hour who is working a so now it is a's turn correct and it, it says in the question that uh, a will fill the tank in six hours which means a's one hour work is one by six and here the remaining is one by six so a will turn a will take one hour to fill the rest correct so what is the total time taken a took this last one hour and then they worked alternatively for four hours so total time is equal to 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 hours got it so this is how you approach the questions based on pipes and cisterns please do as many questions as possible from other sources so that you can get more confidence in doing these questions procedure approach everything same okay start with the diagram okay if you have time takes you take you know uh, take a couple of seconds to draw this diagram and understand what is going on and then simply work the question okay first of all find the work done in one hour and then based on that find other values as required by the question all right so we have came come to the end of this session thank you for joining uh, please like this video subscribe to my channel and share with your friends again we will see today at 8 pm for our environment lecture so until then bye bye